time all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my favorite video of the season. I film this throughout the entire season to show you how I went from this to this and how we transform our house for the holidays, how I decorate, taking you from bare bones, nothing in the house to fully decked halls. So I'm super excited to take you through pretty much every single room in the house, including the kitchen, the basement, our bedroom, my office, and how we decorate all of the trees in the house. We have a total of five trees now in the house, I believe. So I'm going to take you through every single room and all of the progress that started back in November when we first came home. So the very first thing, this was the night that we landed, Andre and I started taking things up from the basement. We keep our stuff in storage. We had a new tree this year, our symphony tree. So we were super excited about that, brought that out of storage. So I often get asked how we store all this stuff. We have a pretty good storage system under our stairs in the basement, but I am the master at putting things away for the holidays and just making the best out of our storage space. So we brought everything up from the basement. It definitely went a lot faster this year because I had Andre's help. He's definitely a trooper of a husband when it comes to that stuff. And we took out all of the topiaries, the bins, the items that were all under the stairs that were for the holidays. The other holiday decor that we have for other seasonal stuff is usually in the garage or the furnace room. So all the Christmas stuff is together, which makes it organized, but it can be very overwhelming. I will say this year, I didn't feel as overwhelmed as prior years. <laughs> Andre was throwing all of our squishmallows out of the storage. So I do keep most things in bins. I do have an interesting way of storing certain things. So I'm gonna share that with you, but I started with the elf tree this year. Last year, this was our newest addition. And I love this tree because it is the simplest tree to put together. It's so fast and so efficient and you can actually program how you want the lights. So this is called a twinkly tree. We ended up bringing the symphony tree to the cottage, which I have a full video on how I decorated that. And I always watch Love Actually first. That is how I start my holiday. I always, always do that. I'm gonna take you through all the movies that I watched throughout this process. So the programmable tree is called a twinkly tree. I will link it down below for you. I absolutely love it and you can program how you want your lights. So in this elf tree, I obviously have a ton of elves. I had an excess amount of elves one year. So I figured last year, hey, let's do a tree that just has a bunch of elves. So I have this cute little sweater printed tree skirt all of these sticks that are all like peppermint themed and candy themed which goes with the other tree as well so this one has a lot more green in it than the other and the pinwheels and the candies and mostly all picks so super quick tree to put together and really simple so if you're ever struggling with how to create a whimsical look on your tree i would definitely suggest the picks which are mostly all from michael's in the floral department they do have some in the holiday department as well but the sticks and picks definitely make a big difference. I don't think there's really any hanging ornaments on here other than of course the elves themselves and the sled that I put in here. So I got this sled last year and everything is fixed into the tree with that floral wire, which is super handy. And I have these little elf feet that it almost looks like an elf kind of fell into the tree. So I thought that was kind of cute also. And then I have giant candy canes that I also got at Michael's in the floral department. They have a stick at the end of them and they stick out of the tree as well. So it just kind of creates that organized chaos look, which is my favorite. And then I took my elves out of storage. This is how I store them, kind of like they're doing a cannonball to protect their face and everything because they all have little ceramic faces. I've collected them over the years and my idea is that they could climb some different ladders. So last year I had painted this ladder. I kind of DIY'd it. So I have a full video on that. I will link it down below of how I made the elf tree. The other ladder I have is this ladder where the elf actually climbs up the ladder. So he's like a little electric elf that you can plug in, pretty cool. So I also got a bunch of gnomes last year. I got into the gnome thing last year and I absolutely love them. So one of my favorite movies to watch is Prep and Landing. I've talked about this before. If you've never watched it, definitely watch it. It's a cartoon, it's so cute and they're my favorite ever. So I ended up one year grabbing both the Prep and Landing little characters in Disney World in the parks and I've had them ever since. And I always hang them in the same spot on our giant clock in the living room, which I think is so cute. So. On to the next tree. This tree is an older tree. This was a gift from Andre's parents when we first moved into this house. It is a massive tree. I love it because the quality of the lights are so pretty, but it is a 
pain in the butt to put up so Andre always helps me it's just because it's not as new as the other one right like technology has definitely evolved but nothing beats the lights in those treats in that tree it's so pretty so in this tree I do have ornaments I have a bunch of candies it's very red and white and in this time my very clean husband was putting everything away so this is how I store all of our picks and sticks I use an old Mac computer box and if you've seen the Mac box in pri in prior videos this season in the background, that's what's in it. I'm not giving away someone's gift. That's just um, how I store my picks and sticks and it works really well because it's a tall, narrow box. So fluffed up this tree, that's another thing with this tree, it always needs to be fluffed up so it kind of takes a lot longer to do. And to stuff it and make it look more full, I always do a mesh as well as a ribbon. And then our tree topper, which I got last year, is a Disney tree topper. Andre and I had some eggnog, which was delightful. And I always stuff the trees just like I did at the cottage. So if you wanna walk through this, I decorated the cottage tree this year the same way. So if your tree ever looks kind of sparse, some decorative mesh like this is super, super helpful. So I use just a straight up red twinkly mesh and then going over top of the mesh, I always do a peppermint ribbon. So it just looks that much more full and chaotic and it just adds a certain something to the base layer of the tree. And it's good because the tree's already pre-lit so it's not like I have to light the tree, which is great. So I put on that tree topper and I also have these little lighted sticks that go at the top and it just adds a certain something. And if you see me changing outfits throughout this, this is literally filmed many, many days throughout. So it's a ton of content in one video for you guys to be able to get the full picture. The other thing I have is these giant Christmas balls. I got them at Walmart years ago. I'm sure you could source them somewhere, but they definitely add to the chaos level of the tree just because of their size. So I have a five of those, a bunch of those candy canes. I got these pom poms at Michael's, love them and just a ton of sticks and picks that go into this tree and like curly cues and stuff and it just I love it it's definitely an overstuffed tree but it's so pretty a ton of work and a ton of love goes into this tree but it's it's my favorite in the house just because I know how much love goes into it so one of the secrets is these little curly cues you can get these they're in their own department at Michael's so they're with the vases and the floral stuff and they're like these thin little curly cues and I put those all over the tree and I do the same with the other tree in my office which I will share with you so from there I did the railing by the way my second movie of the season is always the holiday and I went through the railing I do one layer of just a basic frosted pine kind of garland and then I have this icicle garland that goes over top of it and I tie the whole thing with some candy cane rope and then I go through with ribbon just to make sure it's not going anywhere. So I also use that floral wire to hold everything together on here, especially when I start adding the lights and the elves. So one thing that I love, and I've used this for a long time, are these little electrical switches, which are fixed to some remotes. So I can turn everything on with a couple of presses of a button and all of our stuff turns on. Now, would I love to be able to call out that girl's name? Every time I say her name, you guys say that it makes yours go off, but you know her, her name? Alexa. And <laughs> whenever you say your name, all of your Christmas stuff could turn on. I really want to do that this year. So all of the elves got placed on the railing going up the stairs and then I just hang the excess lights around that frame. So the next movie I always watch is literally the order in which I do it. I do Love Actually, The Holiday, and Arthur Christmas. And then in between there, there's Prep and Landing. It's how, I don't know. If you have an order in which you need to watch your holiday movies, please tell me. Obviously it doesn't keep going, but that's those are my first, those are my intro movies. So I got a couple goodies at Home Goods this year, a couple new goodies, which I had shared with you guys. These candle holders are from my parents, love them. Started putting things out in the kitchen and in the living room. Some things ended up changing around this year because we got new stuff. I got these little rings of garland from a local store and that went perfectly with the Mrs. Claus's Cookie Co. sign. I had gotten that at Michael's last year and then these little candle holders. So I had very much like a candy theme in the kitchen, especially around the little coffee bar area. Everything was definitely way more chaotic this year. Like we kicked it up a notch and I feel like I'm getting really into decorating tiered trays and I have a full opinion on how to do them and I think the more stacked the better. So I love this tiered tray. It was actually a wedding gift from my parents, more so for my bachelorette party or my shower, but I feel like it's so Christmassy and so pretty and I love that there's three tiers so I can actually use it. Carl was really pooped from decorating so much. So I had themes this year to the tiered trays. We had three tiered trays just to hold all of our mugs and decor and everything. So the first tiered tray and I shared all this in my home tour that I filmed yesterday, but this one is the gingerbread 
theme. So I just grabbed anything that was gingerbread and the, the little Disney gingerbreads were perfect. I had a couple of candy pieces and I kind of themed it around that. I picked up these little hot cocoa things from Disney World in the parks and I thought that'd be really cool to add to it. So each of the tiered trays have one of those hot cocos. Oh, and bonus, they taste really good too. So the kitchen this year was definitely on another level. I absolutely loved it. We added some garland and stuff this year, so it was, it was definitely, we took it up a notch for sure. I had a bunch of candles going. I will link some of my favorite candles for you down below. The next portion was going back into the living room. We did the dining room. I added a couple of new little pieces this year. And then of course the village. The village actually takes quite a bit of time to put together, especially when some of your pieces don't survive through season after season. So I always place everything kind of sparingly and trying to figure out how it's all going to go together but it worked out really well this year and I ended up getting a couple new pieces to replace the broken ones so I got this Mickey candy one last year I had this the light one that with the bubbles and then this year I got this northern lights little ball on top of it so they're all from department 56 they're pretty cool and then of course the mantle so this year going and doing the mantle I don't know why but I felt like it wasn't up to snuff because we had kind of set a precedent with the decorations at Halloween and how it kind of climbed up the side of the TV and I felt like there needed to be more height to the mantle, even though it was already chaotic and it was fabulous, but we needed more. So we definitely added to that and took it up a notch. I also did the console table behind the, tele behind the couch that's facing the television. I always put our Disney tree there. I love that Disney tree. There's so much detail and so much just prettiness to it. So a big garland, a bunch of gold pine cones. There's an extra large pine cone in there as well. Some little reindeers and a ton of fake candles that turn on with a remote. So there's a, I love this little area. It's just its own little vibe of gold and prettiness and it's just so cute. And then we have three martini glasses that lived from last year. We go through martini glasses pretty fast in this house. So going into my office, I have another, I always say my favorite trees, but I really love this tree. The tree itself is already fabulous and I actually shared like a fast forwarded version of this on TikTok. So this was on TikTok before you've even seen it, which is kind of cool. I'm loving TikTok, it's making me happy. I'm of course doing it in an Angie way, but it's awesome. So this tree is so pretty just itself without anything else. But one thing that I loved that I did when we first got it is to help myself fluff it up. I just put a bunch of fluff and batting and I stuffed the tree with that. So it looks way more full than it should. And then I also have these little glittery pine cones, those same sticks like I have in the other tree that light up and then a bunch of curly cues. So the other thing I got were these extra large pine cones. I got those at Home Sense one year. So I have a bunch of those going through the tree, some extra large Christmas balls. So you can kind of see how the theme of the trees repeat themselves and how I do it. And then a bunch of picks and sticks from Michael's. So these have pine cones and icicles on them. There's a couple of curly Q ones that I got in the floral department and the same curly Q ones that I got at for the other tree. These ones are gold and white in this tree. And then all the branches and sticks are from Michael's. And then I keep my little gold elf for this tree and he has his own little white ladder on the bottom of it. And I just, I think it's so fabulous and so pretty. So then the tree in the basement, you guys haven't seen this one yet, unless you've seen my stories on Instagram. So this tree doesn't have any decorations. It takes two seconds to put up. I love the plaid little tree skirt. I have one ornament in there from Disney World, this little plaid mini. And he's a tall little narrow guy, but he adds a certain flair to our gym. So this is what happened with the mantle. So by the time we figured out what we were doing, I ended up ordering some garland. I ordered everything online and I got some peppermint trees and some curly cues to add to that. We decorated the bedroom to another level again this year. So I told you guys that I would share with you how I did this. I ordered these. They're basically for outside. They're a pathway marker of little Mickey Mouses. So I needed a base for them to stick into because they're supposed to stick into the ground. I stuck them into candles I was not using, put them in a crate, covered them with that polyfill stuff, and then dumped out a pillow that I wasn't using. So all the fluff from the pillow, and then I had this fresh fallen snow. So it literally looks like it snowed on it. And then I added some on the tops of the lanterns and on the bow ties, and it's so pretty lit up. I absolutely love it. It actually just glows. It goes through a cycle of glow. It's really cute and pretty. 
I love our bedroom this year. So we moved the bench, we changed things around. We have a tree in there as well, just a basic white tree, which I've shared on stories. And I think on TikTok as well, I've got the very merry pillow in there and everything. So this is the garland that ended up being added to the kitchen space this year. I absolutely love how this turned out and it just goes across the basically entryway to our kitchen. So it just kind of creates more to the space. So I hope you guys enjoyed the full transformation of our house. There is a lot of heart and a lot of love that goes into each single piece of decor in this house. And we love it. It makes us so happy. And we're so happy to be able to enjoy it this year, but not only enjoy it, be able to share it with you guys that I know love it so much. So if you did enjoy this video, definitely give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed, hit the bell so you get notifications. Definitely follow along on Instagram and I will be seeing you tomorrow. Bye dudes.